Today we're going to build an EC2 instance for AWS from scratch using code, Terraform. About a year and a half ago I did a video on creating an AWS EC2 instance from scratch using the console. This video is going to be completely code driven, in fact we're not even going to log into AWS. Now some assumptions will be made about your AWS infrastructure because we're going to be using the default resources. Using the default resources like the default VPC and default security groups should be fine unless you've gone up there and deleted a whole bunch of things. To get started creating your EC2 instance with code, you'll want to get your hands on Terraform, which at the time of this video, the latest version is 0.11.10. And in order to connect to AWS with Terraform, you'll need to have your AWS access key and your AWS secret access key. Those keys sound the same, but they're two different things. You need them both. You'll also need to choose your default region, and we're going to take all three of those values, the access key ID, the secret access key, and the default region, and we're going to make them environment variables. As we get started with Terraform here, never, ever put your access keys in your code. Terraform supports it. A lot of the tutorials show people doing it, but you should never do that. Always use environment variables, because in the event that you accidentally check your secret access key in, your entire AWS account is compromised and you'll need to regenerate all of your secrets. I know this sounds like an overstatement, but when it comes to your AWS account, your credit card is hooked up to it, don't screw around, don't hard code those values anywhere. So we're going to start things off by creating a file called main.tf. The first thing we're going to do in this file is create a data source for our AMI. Now you could easily go to the console and find the AMI, you could use the AWS CLI and get your AMI, but here we're going to use a data source and we're going to filter by name on Ubuntu Bionic. So this filter will find us the very latest version of Ubuntu Bionic Beaver 18.4. Next we're going to create an AWS instance resource. For the AMI we'll specify our data source, and the instance type is going to be a T3 Nano. So if you open a terminal, you can type Terraform INIT and that will initialize the AWS provider. And then you can run Terraform apply. You can see that it's going to add one resource, type yes. And after about a minute, you will have your very own AWS EC2 instance. Now that was easy, right? This instance is practically useless unless you wanna go up into the console and open a security group and add your SSH key. So because in this video we want to completely avoid going to the console, we have to create a few more resources. We'll need to create a new resource, AWS key pair. The key name could be whatever you want, but the public key needs to be file, and the value in the parentheses needs to be your public key, like the path to it. Now there's a few ways you could do this. I generally tend to think that it's bad hygiene to copy and paste your public key in your code. So having it as a separate file and having Terraform read that file, in my opinion, is a better pattern. Now we can add a new attribute to our AWS resource, key name, and the value is that new resource we just created, the AWS key pair. So now when you do a Terraform apply, you'll have your instance and it will have your key. But there's another step. The default security group that your instance is using because it is created in the default VPC has restricted ingress to everyone, so you can't access it through port 22 or any other port. Now there's a couple things we could do here. We could create a new security group and attach it to our instance, but I wanna keep it simple. We're gonna add a new security group rule to the default security group. So first we'll get a data source for the security group. The name here can actually be default because the name of the security group is default. Now that sounds silly, but generally you don't want to depend on magic values and magic strings, but according to AWS, that name is okay. Next up, we'll create a new AWS security group rule, not a full-blown security group because we just want to modify the existing one. Type is ingress, the port is 22, protocol is TCP. The CIDR block is your IP slash 32. If you don't know what a CIDR block is, that's fine. Just put a slash 32 at the end. And the security group ID is, of course, the ID of the data source that we just created. And now when we do a Terraform apply or plan, there should be three resources either being added or modified. The AWS instance, the AWS key pair, and the AWS security group rule. So by default, Terraform isn't going to output anything. You actually have to tell Terraform what you want to output in your log. Outputs can be used for like modules and other resources and stuff, but 
that's something totally different. We just want to output the IP address to the log so we can see it and log in. Create a new output, set the value to AWS instance, and now when we approve a Terraform apply, once the instance is finished, it will output the public IP address which we can use to SSH in. For the Ubuntu AMI, the user is Ubuntu. Because you're using your SSH key, you shouldn't need a password. And that wraps up everything you need to get started with your very own EC2 instance straight from code. We didn't even touch the AWS console or CLI or anything. This is all Terraform. Now you can get all the code that we used in this video from my GitHub account. But yeah, this should be everything you need to get started with a simple EC2 instance in AWS. I hope that you liked the video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. There's obviously a lot more that we could cover as far as Terraform modules and networking and all sorts of stuff. And if you want to see that, let me know in the comments. I appreciate all your support, and thanks for watching.